Exercise 12. The Harper Company reported the following current year purchases and sales data for its only product. Whereas to determine the cost assigned to ending inventory and a cost of goods sold using FIFO and LIFO, assuming that Harper uses a periodic inventory system. Remember, a periodic inventory system calculates cost of goods sold at the end of the period, disregarding the actual sale dates. We start with the total units available. 1,080 units and $24,360, and each unit and each dollar will be allocated to either cost of goods sold or ending inventory. Periodic FIFO removes units in chronological order. 427 units were sold. We expense the first 427 units to cost of goods sold. 80 units at $12, 200 units at $17, and 147 units from the July 30th batch of 320 units. None of the units from the October 26th purchase are presumed to be expensed. Cost of goods sold, $960 plus $3,400 plus $3,234. Total cost of goods sold, $7,594. The remaining units are left in ending inventory. None of the units from beginning inventory none of the units from the March 14th purchase, but of the 320 units, since only 147 units were expensed, the remaining 173 units are still in ending inventory at $22 per unit, the value of those units $3,806, and none of the 480 units purchased on October 26th have been expensed, which means those units are still in ending inventory. 480 multiplied by 27 is 12,960. The value of the 653 units left in ending inventory is $16,766, assuming periodic FIFO. With periodic LIFO, we've still sold 427 units, but we expense the units in reverse chronological order. The last 427 units to come into the database will be the units expensed. Cost of goods sold is 427 of the 480 units purchased on October 26th. $11,529 is cost of goods sold. None of the remaining units were expensed. The remaining 653 units are still in ending inventory. All of the units from beginning inventory, all of the units from the March 14th purchase, all of the units from the July 30th purchase, and 53 of the 480 units purchased on October 26th. The total value of ending inventory is 12,831. This problem demonstrates the fact that this is just an inventory assumption. Clearly it's not possible that we physically sold the units that we purchased on October 26th as we didn't have any sales after that date. Requirement 2 asks us to compute the gross margin for each method. Gross margin is sales minus cost of goods sold. During the period we sold 427 units at $40 per unit, sales of $17,080. Cost of goods sold, assuming FIFO, is $7,594. Gross margin, 9486 Under LIFO, sales are also $17,080. Cost of goods sold, 11529 Gross margin, 5,551. In a period of increasing prices, the use of the LIFO method yields the lowest amount of taxable income.